And to do that, let's look at the video. If the velocity of something is zero, does its acceleration need to be zero? I think the answer is no. All right. So this is a pretty tricky question. I just realized the book gets thinner as you go from left to right. Torah, thick. Or Tripitaka, a bit less thick. A Bible, really not that fat. And then the Bhagavad Gita, slim. All right. So it's kind of like a little staircase. But anyway, let's actually get back to the lesson. So when you uh, get into your car and start, st you know, starting it up, putting your thing on the pedal, you start gaining velocity, which is acceleration. So even for uh, even if for a split instant your velocity is definitely zero, your acceleration for a split instant is some non-zero number. It's greater than zero, or if you're in the opposite direction, guess less than zero. But whatever, it's a non-zero number. That acceleration for a split instant doesn't have to be non-zero even if velocity is zero. Otherwise, how do you start up your car? Huh? Gotcha. All right. So now that we'll, this problem has been answered as a no, this does not work. That gets us into the main topic of the lesson. Velocity's relationship with acceleration, and most notably deceleration. Like, for example, I'm slowing down my intros now. Hello, every. Okay, I'm not going to give you the pain of going through that. Trust me, if we were drawing this individually, it would be like hell. Alright. Finally, let's just space out the bottom row more, and we're done! Yay! Alright. So now what we'll do is slice and dice. Dice, take two completed. So what happens after the slicing and dice? First scenario, let's say we have a car that's currently traveling at five meters per second, but dun dun dun, it suddenly speeds up to 15. Slizzle and we find. So it starts at five meters per second, but it goes up to, but da 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 da. You know, it's not really that grand, so it's only a short drum roll. But da 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 da. 15 meters per second, baby! So that means that it's increased by 10. What is the time span for all of this craziness, chaos? And you know what? what? I'm over dramatizing this. Let's just say it's five seconds. So, what's the acceleration? Well, we learned that acceleration is delta v over delta t, also known as the criminal. See if you can catch him. Vf minus vi over t. So vf fifteen, vi five over t is five, giving us ten over five, which is two <gasps> meters per second squared. The velocity is the positive direction as it speeds up here. And acceleration also must be in the positive direction. Velocity and acceleration but are both in the same direction. Do we know what that means? Well, small but da 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 number two. But da 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 That means that we speed up. Don't worry, there's a grand but da 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 coming up. Don't worry, hopefully it won't come up. But anyway, number two. All right, so over here, we have, let's say, velocity initial is equal to 15 meters per second, but dun dun dun, it goes down to five. My God, such fallen grace. And of course, T will be constant for every time, so five seconds. Now, we see acceleration is five minus 15. <gasps> which means that it must be negative. And so, now we get 5 minus 15, which is minus 10 over 5. That gives us minus 2. <gasps> we forgot the units. Meters per second squared. All right. And so, that means velocity is in the positive direction, but... But that, that, that... Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. We see acceleration is in the negative direction. What a twist. 
giving us velocity and acceleration are in opposite direction. Oh no! What does that mean? Or slowing down. Oops. This is so sad. We have officially slowed down. Slow. Alright. So now, let's see that hopefully we can speed up for the next one. Alright. So, for this one, what we will do is we will say that V initial is actually going to be here. <gasps> what a twist. Okay. So V initial is negative 5 meters per second. I know it looks like it's writing the wrong way, but hey, I was too lazy to fix it during the damn vibing copying thing. And I can't copy it and mirror it anyway. But anyways, VF equals to minus 15 meters per second. <gasps> so we're speeding up in the negative direction. How interesting. So we already know the velocity is in the negative direction, but what about acceleration? Dun, dun, dun. Well, let's see. Uh, we know that time is going to be five. Good old friend time. And then, now, we get a equal vf minus v naught over t, giving us um, minus 15 minus negative 5 over 5, which gives us minus 15 plus 5 over 5. Remember, the negative of a negative is a positive. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Hint, 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 hint. Oh. And so, that gives you minus 10 over 5, which gives you minus 2 meters per second squared. But, 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 how could this be? We were slowing down when we got the same answer before. How could this be? Well, it just did acceleration here was in the opposite direction. But here, acceleration, since it's in the same direction, means that even though we're in the negative direction, we're still speeding up. Ah, what an interesting field, or an interesting fact, I don't know. So, that gives us velocity and acceleration are in a different direction. We are speeding up over here and over here. V initial is minus 15. We're cruising, but then we're not cruising anymore. Because then we get V final is minus five meters per second. So sad, isn't it? What a fall for, uh, uh, skip that. We know the velocity is definitely in the minus direction because look, velocity is negative on both instances. So, you're definitely not doing a U-turn or anything like that. So, that means that acceleration, what's acceleration? Well, we get minus 5 minus negative 15. Divide that by 5. Minus 5 plus 15 is 10, as you should know. So 10 over 5, 2 meters per second. <gasps> but we were speeding up last time when we got this. Oh, me God. So it's the same reason we got minus 2 meters per second squared here. But we were speeding up. So... That means that acceleration still in the positive direction. We are slowing. Velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. We speed up. No. And then, when even if the quantities, or I mean the directions, are different in acceleration and velocity, that means that when we are different in each scenario, we slow down slow Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming